Yo guys, the latest here back with our video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get stretch resolution in 2021 with the AMD Radeon software. So if you guys use NVIDIA, this is not the right video for you. Go watch H Cherry or something because there's not that many videos about AMD. So I decided to make one about how to get stretch shreds with AMD. Without further ado, let me show you guys the tutorial. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is simply click Alt and R at the same time and it will open up. So yeah. And now, what you're gonna wanna do is from the homepage, simply go on gaming and then right here, looking for global settings, click on global display and it should take you right to this page, the display settings. You're gonna see all of these stuff, but what we're looking for is create new right here, custom resolutions and create new. I already have two resolutions, so I will be creating a new one for this tutorial. Now, this is your resolution right here. Right now it's on the default 1920 by 1080, but what we want is stretch resolution. So put it to whichever resolution you would want. So for this tutorial, I will use 1440 by 1080 as an example. So 1440 by 1080. Refresh rate right here, it should automatically put it to your refresh rate, but if not, make sure to put it to your re refresh rate. So it, for example, my refresh rate is 60 hertz. So yeah. So now, um, everything else should stay as normal, except for here, timing display. So the only things you have to change is your resolution and your timing display. Your timing display has to be the same as your resolution. So mine would be 1440 by 1080. All you have to do is change these two. So timing display and resolution. And once that is done, I think that is all you have to do. Create new simply by clicking create new it is normal for your screen to go black so next you're gonna find here it, if you can't see the custom resolution simply click on the custom resolution and it should extend and just show every resolution so the one i have just created is 1440 by 1080 simply click on it and click save and then click yes and your screen will go black and now your display is 1440 by 1080. But wait, we are not done yet. Now, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is go right here on your taskbar and search up run. Once you have opened run, you're gonna want to type in percent local app data percent. So once you have once you have typed in percent local app data percent you have to click OK. Once you click OK or enter, it will bring this up. These are all of the files. Now, there's a lot of files. This might be a little confusing for you guys, but you're only looking for one file and that's right here, Fortnite game. If you can see it right here. Fortnite game. And then once you have opened Fortnite game, so right here, Fortnite game, saved, and then you're gonna find all of these, but you only need one, and that's config. Once you have click config right here, you're gonna wanna click Windows client, and then game user setting. But wait, before you open it, just right click it, and go to proper. Then you have to untick read only. So mine is already on read only, but yeah, you have to untick that, if it is tick, click, look. So you have to untick, click apply, and then okay. Then you can right click on it and click open or left click, double double click, left click. Then you're gonna see all of these on this one notepad. This might be like maybe confusing to you or you have no clue what is going on or what any of this is. It's really simple as long as you do exactly what I tell you to. You're gonna wanna click on edit scroll go all the way down here to replace you can click replace here or click Control h either one works so i'm just gonna click replace this will pop up okay this will pop up you might be a bit confused but just wait all you have to do now is here right now you're gonna want to click 1920 
and then you're gonna wanna replace it with whichever resolution you chose. So for me, it would be 1440. Then you're gonna wanna click replace all right here. So now guys, once you have replaced all and you've clicked that button, you'll see it right here before you click save before you click file and save just look up here if this has a tick right here there's like a little tick and then it says game user settings so like a little dot right on top that means you have done it properly and so now you just want to simply click save right here so file file save and then it should be done now you can exit out of all of this and launch your fortnite two thousand years later so yeah guys my fortnite has launched when your fortnite launches don't be worried if your screen goes black because that is completely normal as you guys can see everything is really stretched and yeah so this is 1440 guys this is 1440 by 1080 on fortnite as you guys can see everything is so stretched um and yeah so basically everything is stretched so yeah now i will be playing some creative okay okay guys we are in creative um this is like Bro, there's so many people. This is so hectic, bro. Okay, I'm playing creative matchmaking. Creative fills. Bro, that, that kid was about to kill me. I'm not even joking. I'm so weak now. I'm just gonna pop both of my floppers. Stretch res, if I didn't uh, mention... The more stretched you, uh, the more stretched res you get, the, the less of a V you have. So that's a bad thing. Bro, this is so loud, man. There's so many kids. Okay, I don't know what this guy's trying to do. Okay, I'm dead from... Uh. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to end it from here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned uh, or f found out without any trouble how to get stretch resolution. Um, so, yeah, it would mean a lot if you guys could subscribe to this channel. Um, this video did take me a while to edit and make, so, yeah, thanks for watching.